Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great and staying healthy and safe. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through a super simple yet powerful method to rank at the top of YouTube search results, almost guaranteed, and based on my personal experience. The proof? Well, most of my videos, despite my channel being relatively small, consistently show up at the top of search results for the keywords they're targeting. Whether it's older videos like the one about reaching 4,000 watch hours, as you can see here, or upcoming ones I'll be creating using the exact same strategy, this method works. All right, let's jump into the tutorial. Step one, and this is absolutely essential, is optimizing your video settings, or what we technically refer to as on-page SEO. This includes setting your video's title, description, tags, and thumbnail the right way. Here's how to do it. For the title, always make sure that the first part directly reflects the specific content of your video. It should be catchy, attention grabbing, and relevant. Then, for the second part, use a broader version of your topic, just two or three keywords that people are likely to search for. For example, take a look at the title I used for my video about the 4,000 watch hours. See how I structured it? You can also consider adding the current year, like 2025, to make the title more relevant and stand out in search results. Now let's talk about the description. You want to write a professional, accurate description that clearly explains what your video is about. The best way to do this? Use an AI tool, like ChatGPT. Just give it your video script and ask it to generate a YouTube-optimized description based on SEO best practices. It works like magic. Next, and this is a key move, do some research and collect titles of top-ranking videos that already appear for the keywords you're targeting. Then, include those titles in your description under AI Related Topics section, just like I'm showing you here. This helps your video get associated with successful content and improves its visibility. As for tags, according to YouTube itself, they're no longer that important, but I still recommend adding a few, just in case they help a little with discoverability. Finally, your thumbnail. This is crucial. The only advice I'll give you here is be creative, be bold, keep it simple, and make it eye-catching from the very first glance. Look at what top competitors are doing. Take inspiration from them. You can also use Canva templates to create thumbnails that look clean and professional. So that wraps up step one. Now let's move on to the next step, what we technically call off-page SEO. This includes things like creating backlinks, analyzing performance, and tracking your results. Basically, all the stuff that search engines, including YouTube, rely on to determine which content to promote, both in search and in browse features. One of the most critical factors here is backlinks, or simply put, external links. This means how often your video is shared or embedded outside of YouTube, on websites, blogs, forums, or news pages. The more your video is referenced or linked to outside the platform, the more YouTube sees it as valuable and authoritative content, and the higher it will rank and reach. To help with this, we're going to set up a simple campaign using a platform called Shortlink. You'll find the link to it right below this video in the description. As you can see here, this is the website's main interface. It's a platform designed for shortening URLs and promoting them through ad placements. We're going to take advantage of this feature to generate clean and legitimate traffic to our video. Traffic that can help boost its performance and visibility on YouTube. So, without wasting time, let's click on the Quick Ads option to head straight to the ad creation page. The first option you'll come across is for selecting the ad size. Here we're simply going to choose the smallest available size, because in our case, this setting doesn't really affect the outcome. Plus, it helps us maximize our results while keeping costs low. Once that's done, click Next to move on to the next setting, which is defining the objective of the campaign. We'll select the Pay Per Interaction option. This ensures we're only paying when someone actually engages with our link. Then, click Next again to move to the campaign scale. This is where we choose how many interactions we want. For example, we can select this package here, which will cost us around $51. Next, we move on to the audience targeting stage. This is where we define the right audience for our ad. First, we select the category. I personally always go with other interests, but you're free to choose the option that best fits the content of your video. After that, we move on to the keyword section. You can leave it empty for now, but keep in mind, it's a critical component that we'll come back to and optimize after the campaign goes live. And finally, we reach the last step, where we enter our personal details and ad information. So take your time here. Start by entering your full name. This will be used mainly for internal identification and in case the platform needs to contact you regarding the campaign. Next, type in your phone number. It's not always mandatory, but it adds credibility and might be useful for support purposes if anything goes wrong. Then, enter your email address carefully. Make sure it's a valid, active email because this is where you'll receive your campaign confirmation and, more importantly, your tracking link once the payment is complete. 
Now let's scroll down to the section labeled HTML banner code, or sometimes embed link. In that field, we're going to paste the YouTube video link. Yes, just the normal YouTube URL, because YouTube links are automatically embeddable, and the platform will treat them as banners or media ads. Once everything is filled out, we're ready to move on. Click the preview button to see how the ad will look before it goes live. This is your last chance to review everything, so take a moment to confirm that all the info is accurate. Double check that the link is correct, no typos, and make sure the video content and banner size are appropriate because this is what your audience will actually see when the ad runs. And now, we proceed to the final step, payment. You have two options here. You can either pay using a credit or debit card or go with PayPal, depending on what's more convenient for you. Once the payment is complete, you'll receive an email within a few minutes confirming that your campaign has been submitted. Right after completing the payment, you'll receive an email with all the details of your campaign. As you can see here, we'll just wait a few seconds for Gmail to load. All right, here it is. I've received the notification. Let me open the email and take a look at the contents. As I mentioned earlier, this is essentially a confirmation receipt that includes everything related to your campaign. But the most important part for us right now is the tracking link. This is the link that allows us to monitor the campaign's performance in real time. And most importantly, it gives us access to update and optimize the keywords as the campaign progresses. At first, the campaign will be paused, waiting for review. This usually takes about one to two hours. Once it's approved, the campaign goes live and you'll start seeing results come in. From that point on, you'll also have the option to edit and optimize your keywords based on the campaign's performance. Once the campaign gets approved and starts running, we've officially reached the most important step in this entire process. So listen carefully, my friend. This is where it gets real. Follow these next actions exactly as I show you and trust me, the results will blow your mind. To make things even clearer, I'm going to show you a real life example of a campaign I'm currently running for one of my clients. By the way, this client works in affiliate marketing and relies on my service to help his videos rank at the top of YouTube search results for the exact keywords related to the product or service he's promoting. Now, once we click on the tracking link, we're taken to the campaign dashboard. As you can see here, we have a list of keywords, each one accompanied by three key indicators. A color status, this can be green, orange, red, or gray, and it reflects the overall health or performance of that keyword. A targeting percentage, this shows how closely your link, in this case, the YouTube video, matches or ranks for that keyword across the internet in general. And finally, a hashtag trend score, which gives you an idea of how trendy or relevant your link is in relation to the keyword at that moment. Now let's say our goal is to rank this client's video at the top for the following three search terms. Free web hosting, how to get web hosting, how to buy web hosting. Next, we test and see whether the video is actually ranking for these target keywords. So let's start by searching for the first one, free web hosting. As you can see, the video doesn't show up anywhere in the top results. Let's try the second keyword, how to get web hosting. Same result, no sign of our video. And finally, let's search for how to buy web hosting. Again, no ranking at all. So at this point, the video is not showing up for any of the keywords we're targeting. Now we go back to the campaign dashboard and enter the three keywords we want to target. And as you can see, all of them are showing up in gray. This means that according to the short link system, these keywords have no connection to our ad link. And that's accurate because our ad link is a YouTube video and it's not currently ranking in search results for any of the three keywords. So now I'll try to link it to those keywords by following these steps. First, I'll edit the keywords to make them appear in orange or red at least, meaning there's some level of relevance. For example, I'll modify free web hosting to free web hosting WP wiki by adding the client's channel name. Now this keyword shows up in green, which is excellent. Next, we go to the second keyword and modify how to get web hosting to how to get web hosting for my website. And now it appears in red, which is acceptable. It means the system sees some connection. Then we move on to the third keyword, which we change from how to buy web hosting to how to buy web hosting with free WordPress. Now it shows up in orange, which is also a good sign. After that, we click the update button to apply the new keyword settings to the campaign. During this time, our video link is being embedded across a large number of pages, along with the keywords we've defined in the campaign. What happens next is that search engine crawlers, like Google's, which YouTube heavily relies on, begin to index our YouTube video along with the associated keywords. Technically speaking, what we've done here is create multiple backlinks, 
all within the same niche as our video content. So for now, we leave everything running and come back to check the results later. Now, after several hours, we return to the campaign tracking link. And here's the exciting part. We can clearly see a significant improvement in the performance of the keywords we added. They're now all showing in green, with very high relevance scores. Now we move on to the next step. We delete the modified keywords we used earlier, and now we enter the original target keywords again to test them. Great. All the keywords are now showing in colors other than gray, with decent relevance scores. So I'll go ahead and click update, and then I'll leave the campaign running once again. So. After about a day and a half, we head back to the campaign tracking link, and as you can see, the results speak for themselves. All the keywords are now in green, with excellent relevant scores. Now let's go over to YouTube and run a real search using free web hosting. And as you can see in the YouTube search results, our video is now ranking at the top. We try the second phrase, how to get web hosting. Same thing, our video is among the top results. We test the third one, how to buy web hosting. And again, it's confirmed. Our video is now ranking within the top five results for this high value competitive keyword. In this example, I worked with just three keywords to keep things simple, but in reality, it's always better to target multiple keywords using the same method. So here's the bottom line. Always try to find and add keywords that show up in orange or red and leave them until they turn green. Once they're green, you can then refine them step by step to get closer to your main target keywords. If a keyword shows up in gray, just delete it and try again with a new variation until you find a version that appears in red or orange. Repeat this process two or three times a day and eventually your target keywords will turn green, which means your video is now ranking for the terms you actually want. Once that happens, move on and find new target keywords to work on and keep repeating the process. And that's it for today's video. I hope everything was clear and if you have any questions or need help, feel free to reach out to me. I'll leave the link to my Facebook page below in the description. See you in the next video.